Hi, and welcome back to Stop Being Sold. My name is Michelle, and I'm here with Brian. And in today's video, we're discussing why you should invest in the NFT market right now. Okay, so we have seen a <laughs> massive decline. I'm not sure if that's even, oh, that's, it's, we'll go with massive decline in the crypto yeah. space over the past few days. And it's been pretty brutal, to put it mildly. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, Bitcoin has fallen to, around 27,000 a day, uh, Ethereum in the middle of the night. I was, up, I was up in the middle of the night. I know. What was Look at my phone. It says 1698 for Ethereum. I'm thinking, what? And it's currently back uh, 1900. Uh, actually, the NASDAQ started to uh, recover a little bit in the last hour. So back above 1900 on the uh, Ethereum. And it's funny that the crypto sell-off seems to track real closely to the recent NASDAQ sell-off. And originally we kept hearing that they were separated and would stay that way, but um, you know, it, that isn't happening. So, um, and some of the uh, downward pressure that we're seeing right now, Michelle, could be attributed to the unrest going on in the stable coin market. Sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah. The UST coin. It's yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. my heart goes out to those people. I'm so sorry. It's rough. It's yeah. not even, yeah. Well, okay. So here's the thing. Point of the video is why NFTs right now, right? Sure. Why now with people panicking um, and there are people who've lost a lot of money, like millions, hundreds of millions are gone. Billions are like liquid. Right? Exactly. Billions. But there are many of us, myself included, who are seeing this fallout, if you will, as a buying opportunity. So I'm excited because I'm working. I'm really excited because I'm going to be DCA, DCAing into Bitcoin. You know, and this is where real wealth is built. But DCAing into Bitcoin and NFTs are very, investing in NFTs are very different. So with all this volatility um, and with NFTs being so new, why is now the time to get in? Uh, well, think about this, Michelle. Um, good NFT projects are still being minted every single day. Okay. And um, I was able to get into one earlier this week that sold out. And so far, it's given me a 5x return on it in two days. In the middle of all this? In the middle of the biggest downturn we've seen in the crypto market since 2020, you know, late 2020. I think it was December. Yeah. We had a big uh, pullback there. So. Well, March 2020 was also a bloodbath. <laughs> right, right. Uh, I get what you're saying. Well, that was for everything. <laughs> um, also, another project, Michelle, that I, I've been in um, where I can stake my NFTs and earn passive income monthly <sighs> I'm up 11x yeah. in, in literally two weeks, two and a half weeks. But uh, you got to do your, do your own research on all these different projects out there before jumping in. But um, it's, it's, it's still going. So, Okay. Well, before we dive in, I want, I want to ask you more questions. Like I think we can get a little bit more deep for people um, on why now. Uh, right. But if you like the content of this video hit that like button, smash the like button, gently press the like button, whatever you need to do, help us grow that channel. And also don't forget to subscribe. Brian and I put out quite a few videos on NFTs, uh, crypto, really any fi just financial investing. Um, and we don't give financial advice, but what we do is we try to educate you so that you can make the best decision possible. Yeah. All right, Brian, floor is yours. Let's deep dive. Can you give us like some solid reasons? I understand you're making money in the middle of this downturn, but like what are some other reasons that people would want to invest in NFTs right now? Okay, so the majority of NFTs, Michelle, are minted with Ethereum, right. okay? Ethereum's low right now. It was Friday, last Friday. I mean, less than a week ago, Ethereum was $3,300. right. It's 1950 now. Okay. Now that we've got a pullback in Ethereum, this may be a great time to invest into some NFT projects. And here's why. Let's say you buy an NFT project today uh, with Ethereum and it, you know, Ethereum's trading around $1,900, right? Mm -hmm. And let's say next month, Ethereum's back at $2,100, which it moves faster than that. But let's just say a nice, slow, steady return, right? Okay. okay. You've earned a little over 10% return on the value of the NFT as ETH rose in value. Just that. Okay. But let's go one step further in why you should buy an NFT while prices are low. 
let's say you bought the NFT, Michelle, at 0.06 ETH, which currently is about $114 um, if ETH trading at $1,900, right? Right, right. And now it's a couple of weeks later and the floor price is uh, 0.08 ETH. And the floor price is the lowest price you can sell an NFT for um, at that current time, right? Okay. And so $168 now with ETH trading at $2,100. Okay, mm -hmm. so you went from $114 on one NFT to $168. You would have gotten a 47% total return on this NFT if you sold it. Sold it, right, so right. That is just a small uh, blip of what can happen by buying NFTs while Ethereum is lower price. So I call this the double-edged sword of NFT investing. And it gives you the perfect scenario. If the project in Ethereum both rise in value at the exact same, at the time. same time. Okay. Interesting. Double-edged sword. I like it. And that's what I look for. And you'll see um, right now gas prices yeah. are pretty that's high right. to mint. Why are they right. high? Because so many people stepping in trying to buy because Ethereum's lower priced right now. So, sure. All right. So what's another reason? Uh, passive income. Okay. Uh, I, I, like I said, I was involved in a project right now. It's paying me 1% monthly. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty nice passive income, right? Sure. You yeah. know, projects are creating revenue streams for holders as well as for the creators right now. So Many of the NFT projects out there are offering to pay crypto revenue to holders on either a daily, weekly, or monthly okay. time frame. Each one's right. a little bit different, and that's why you have to do your own research on it. But it's creating a passive income stream for many holders, like myself, of NFTs. And if you plan on holding an NFT for a longer period, you sure. want to research the NFT projects that have income streams tied to it. Sure. You know, it's like um, dividend paying stocks. Buy a stock that pays a consistent dividend over time. That's well, we've, also done, we've done quite a few videos here on staking, staking right. crypto assets, right? Whether it's, you know, I mean, Cardano, Cosmos, whatever, Link. I mean, you can stake anything really. At this point. Not, right. It has to be proof of stake, but... Uh, yeah, and we'll put those, we'll put some of those links below this video. So if you want to check that out, because why not? You know, even though things are down, I'm still making money on some of my, you know, my crypto assets that I hold. Right. And, and so besides the holders like myself getting passive income, the creators today, when, when they mint these projects right. can set the royalties of their projects and receive income for all future sales and resales of the NFTs that are created. So, okay. All right. So what else do you have for us? Why now? <clears throat> There's a supply of new projects coming to the market. It are growing dramatically. Yeah, this is true. So, excuse me. Just, <coughs> just being on Twitter for five minutes, I'm watching all these new uh, projects come out and you know sifting through that is a whole different story but i'm saying like a lot. what do you do where do you right, go right. which one you know uh, stay tuned for that because we will have a video for that here shortly to help you sift through all that so yeah. but um uh, think about this um as these projects come onto the market michelle you're going to have to have uh, as an investor mm -hmm. liquidity yeah. to be able to purchase them right and so today here's how i do it in this not not financial advice, but I always have Ethereum sitting in my wallet. Yeah, and sure. um, I'll buy like this morning, early, early this morning. I was buying Ethereum just to have it there because the price was low. So I have it just in case something does pop up for me. So, and um, so I, it's funny. I've been in some groups and uh, Discord groups where people were waiting on their next. IRL, which is in real life paycheck, exactly. so right. they can invest into the next NFT project. And it's like, oh my gosh, it, today's the mini and I haven't got my direct deposit yet. What do I do? So the demand is still out there. So as long as there's demand, people are always going to be looking towards the next project to be minted. So, right. and as more projects come on board, Michelle, I, I'm watching people trying to decide, which one will be the next board ape and having right. to choose to, you know, which one will be which the next one's the winner. New winner. Yeah. You just don't know. 
Um, and in the future, though, Michelle, this may cause a little oversaturation. Um, and I feel that coming in a couple of years because there's just so many projects right, and right. you have to be able to sift through them. And, and same thing with any other investment, just do your own research. So. Do your own research. And like Brian said, we are going to do a, we're going to do an in-depth video coming very soon about how do you sift through the noise? How do you select a project that, you know, that, that you think can, well, has value, right. And can make right. you more and uh, for the long haul too. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate this, Brian. Thanks for sharing thank you, your knowledge you. on NFTs. Uh, if you like the content of today's video, do hit that like button. Really appreciate it. Uh, and also subscribe and do check out some of those links we'll put below. Thank you, Brian. Thanks, and thanks everybody for watching. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Michelle. Have a great day.